Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I will shave before I go to Expona, but I've been traveling so much. I was in Fredericksburg last week. If you've been following me on Instagram, uh, maybe I'll put up the, the uh, Instagram story I did. Solar Eclipse was a bust. The cloud cover messed it all up. Actually, it turned out where most people left town, so it made the town much more fun in terms of not being overcrowded. One couple came all the way, booked this two years ago, from Portland, came to Fredericksburg. They were leaving. I, I was talking to them at lunch one day. They were leaving to go all the way to Oklahoma <laughs> to get a better view. And then they had to drive all the way back after it to catch their flight in Austin. Hardcore solar eclipse people, but unfortunately, sorry for them, it didn't work out. But fun for me on a few metrics. I got some new hats. I got also another uh, vinyl LP laser cut for David Bowie to add to my collection of doors. If you want one of these, there's only a guy that I know of in Fredericksburg that does these. And he doesn't sell online. So if you have a famous rock band you want one of these of, next time I'm in Fredericksburg, I'll take a look for you. I also took a look at my Airbnb for audio files and got some announcements on that. The Bach, uh, a new Brock product will be in my Airbnb. Lots of other news on that, but you can take a look at the excerpts or my shorts. What I really wanted to talk about today is looking forward. A couple days, I'm heading out to Expona. Bach news here. Two rooms. Get that. Two rooms will have the Bach. The theoretical applied physics room with the Janssen speakers as they normally demo, and Edgar will be in that room the most, but also the Finnal, Final, uh, F-I-N-A-L speakers, Electrostats, full range, very impressive at Montreal and Toronto, prior shows I've showed them at. Uh, definitely one to check out on its own merits, but it's going to have the Bach as well in there. And Mike Sweck with the dealer in Florida that you saw at the Florida audio show, he's going to potentially be representing that speaker line, but he's also going to bring the Bach there too. It's going to be a lot of fun to have it in two rooms. And Edgar is doing a presentation on Friday, so don't miss that. He's doing it with Tom Martin and David Chesky, and I'll be filming in there. If you did reach out for private demos, after hours or before hours demos, we got so overwhelming response, we couldn't really slot people um, without getting really complicated. So what we're doing is uh, make, make sure you reach out to me and get my cell phone number and text me when you're there. And then we're going to be able to coordinate because Edgar had a list and I had a list. It was going to get too complicated. Uh, so I'll make sure I get everybody that reached out to me before the show some kind of demo at a certain time, and you can get calibrated with your ears. That's very important to ultimately, if you want to buy it and get the full experience, but you can come during show hours. You will have no problem hearing an A-B difference. Uh, certainly, you want to be in that center spot, but if you're not in that center front row seat, you want to be behind that middle seat um, in that middle row. Off-axis, it'll be just like pretty much any other off-axis speaker. That's what I got fooled by the first year. I didn't get that center position. I didn't even know what it was all about. So make sure you uh, see the Bach at Exponent, one of the few shows Edgar goes to right now. Also, yeah, right now, he doesn't even need more sale. I just gave him the 17th audio order. These go for $30,000 apiece. He's 17 backlog right now. So yeah, get your order in now if you can. There is still a discount on ORC for the audio and DO, not the Bach for Mac. All right, on other metrics, things to go check out. The other Brand I represent is Blue Jean Cable. I talked to Jeff today. I forgot he's even going to be there. Treehouse Audio Room. He's going to be there in that room. Also, Mako people. I feature them on my channel. If I uh, eventually get to see, finally get to see the Mako speaker. Uh, that's been very impressive. One of the people wanted to hear that. It's going to be there. Uh, Val with the Chorus got some new stuff. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, Magnapan. It's kind of been spoiled already. I think the Absolute Sound already tipped the hand of what's going to be showing uh, some new stuff from Magnapan. So there's going to be a lot of cool stuff, and that's what I'm going to mainly focus on. Uh, just the stuff that's new instead of the stuff I always show. Big rooms, obviously, I'm going to cover, but mainly I want to focus on stuff that I don't see because 200-plus rooms, I can't get to them all. I am deputizing Dave and Pete the Greek, so they're going to be doing some stuff. And speaking of which... What I've got as bonus for you guys is a testimonial that Dave has of the Bach from Ken Redmond of uh, Tracking Angle. And he's a longtime reviewer in the hobby. And he went and visited Dave and heard his setup and gives his comments on the box. So here's a chance for a vinyl guy, at least for the Tracking Angle, uh, here the Bach at Dave's house. And here's his uh, review. So without further ado, enjoy. 
Oh, here we are, early Monday afternoon on the day of the eclipse, counting it down, waiting for the end of the world. We have a special guest over today listening. This is Ken Redman of the Tracking Angle. But other than that, he, he's okay. <laughs> Ken's okay. And his is, he wanted to have a chance to experience the box system in my room before going to Expono. We'll both be doing that in a few days. And I'm very interested in what Ken's impressions were of my room as a whole. And then as uh, hearing the Bach, he had a chance to hear it on and then off, back and forth. We mostly listened to digital. We did do some LP today, but mostly uh, digital. And uh, what do you think? Well, the, uh, the, the room itself is, uh, is quite a great listening environment. Uh, this is really well, uh, well uh, taken care of. Uh, the treatments in the room are are uh, appropriate and certainly not overdone, like you run into in a lot of rooms where people just get crazy with acoustic treatment and kill the room. So uh, it's done a great job here of leaving the life in the room, uh, but yet still controlling what needs to be controlled. Um, the uh, the box system uh, is quite a quite an experience uh, in, in a couple of areas. Uh, the simple on-off AB type of thing is, uh, is uh, easy to distinguish uh, the width, height, depth that you get with the, with the box system. Uh, and I asked uh, Doug to uh, listen to particular cuts and then turn it off and uh, the, the collapse of the sound field back to what you would consider to be traditional. Uh, sound staging and sound feel uh, that you hear in most uh, most systems. Uh, the back, when the Bach went back on, uh, uh, great width, uh, but not uh, not incorrect, not gargantuan, not uh, uh, doesn't sound like a uh, you know uh, some sort of blown up sound stage. Just more dimensionality to everything. And the amazing thing to me, it doesn't leave a hole in the middle either. Exactly. It just, yeah. it expands upon what, what should already be there, but right. yeah. Right, yeah. yeah, it's exactly right. It places things uh, correctly and uh, and with a dimensionality too. It doesn't just uh, have a two dimensional feel to it, a uh, very three dimensional type of uh, feel to the spacing. Um, uh, Later on, some other listening, uh, uh, the things that stood out to me a lot were the ability to uh, really understand where the recording was made, be it a venue, a live venue, uh, the character of that venue, or perhaps uh, the recording itself of a vocal. We listened to Joan Baez and uh, uh, easily hear the environment that was recorded in uh, and like I was telling uh, like I was telling Doug it was it's not that I haven't heard that before it's just that it made considerably more sense uh, we talked about it as being almost like uh, a puzzle where you had particular pieces that you've certainly heard before uh, but perhaps one puzzle piece was missing that made that connection between the two and uh, with the box system, it was a very complete picture uh, that, uh, that, that really made sense. All the pieces uh, that you, parts and pieces you heard before, now came together and just made sense in your mind. So it's a very easy to listen to, uh, uh, very relaxing to listen to. And uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, been an, it's been an impressive day. Uh, so. Uh, it's something that it's been a you, long time in coming too. Yeah, you know, been trying to get together for a while now. We don't live that far apart. You know, Ken over is over there in Baton Rouge, and I'm over here in Thibodeau, just a little over an hour away, or so. But uh, sometimes life just makes that distance greater, doesn't it? It it does. It does. <laughs> and many times in Louisiana, uh, there there you can be relatively close but still be worlds apart. <laughs> <laughs> As Doug, as Doug knows, so uh, yeah. it's uh, it's been a pleasure. And of course, uh, you, you keep calling me Doug. Of course, I'm Dave. I mean Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been now. called uh, much worse. Yes, you have. In fact, fairly recently. For some reason, I keep calling you. 
but yeah you're not the only one i get yeah. dugged a lot so yeah. you know so uh so i'm glad you had a chance to you know enjoy the room a little bit and i am isolated where i live a bit you know from other people other audiophiles and so i don't often get any kind of feedback other than from myself and it's good to know that it's not in my mind it's real <laughs> <laughs> that well, this is working it is. and it's uh you it's, know it's impressive and a lot of fun so, so good well, time well thank you for coming over thanks for having me and Enjoy boy in it. a couple days we're going to be sitting pretty in exponent i'll see you in chicago <laughs>